I thank the gentleman. I rise in opposition of this bill, but I would like to clarify something. We're not trying to scare kids. This president's foreign policy is what's scaring the kids of this country. And that people have said today, why are people believing this? Why are people believing this big Internet hoax? Well, it's the same people that told us Saddam Hussein had something to do with 9-11. Same people that told us Saddam Hussein had weapons of mass destruction. Same people that told us we were going to be able to use the oil for reconstruction money. Same people that told us that we'd be greeted as liberators, not occupiers. Same people, same president that told us the Taliban is gone. Same president that told us that Poland is our ally two days before they pull out. Same president that tells us Iraq is going just great. Same president that tells us the economy is going just great. Same people that told us the tax cut was going to create millions of jobs. Same people that told us that the Medicare program only cost $400 billion when it really cost $540 billion. So please forgive us for not believing what you're saying. Please forgive the students of this country for not believing what you're saying. Not one thing. Not one thing about this war that has been told to the American people or that has been told to these college students has been true. Not one thing. Bremer says we need more troops. The Pentagon says we need more troops. And this president can't get them from the international community. There's only one option left. Let's be honest with the American people. I yield back the balance.